Greetings, Blender Heads. For my first ever tutorial using Blender 2.57a, we'll be learning how to do camera tracking. I have 2.57a opened up to its default scene. And I'm going to go to press number one on the numpad to get our front view so I know where we're at. And the first thing I like to do is to get rid of the manipulator. It cleans up the scene just a little bit for working. Press that, right click, I mean left click the manipulator button and it's gone. And the next thing we're going to do is add an empty. I'd like to point out that there are two ways you can track a camera. Either directly to the object or indirectly through the use of an empty parented to the object. I like to use the latter as sometimes I find that I want to track something else in the scene and all I have to do is reparent the empty and move it to that object. So using Blender's shortcuts I'm going to press shift and hold it down and press A once and that brings up our add menu for objects and then I'm going to add an empty that adds it at the cursor press Z so we can see it better okay next I'm gonna right click the camera I don't know the shortcut for the constraint menu yet so I'm going to go to our object constraints window pressing the little button left clicking the little button with the chain on it and then clicking on constraints and I want to add track to this is our window for that and our target if you left click in there is going to be the empty very convenient now you notice that the camera is not pointing at the empty this is the default setting for blender I don't know why it does that but it does what we have to do is change the axis orientations on it and for starters we need to left click the negative Z that gets it pointing towards the empty and notice that the box up here is red that means it's not quite right then we're going to change the ups, up axis to Y the red's gone and the camera is now working and tracking to the empty pressing G you can see that it's moving around pretty cool for blender and a freeware program going back to one and the aerial view seven I'm pressing G and it's going moving the camera around you see that it points right at the empty this is very good for modeling and following following your models through the scene and I use it quite a bit I'm sure a lot of other people do too now the original plan was to track the camera to the cube to achieve this we would right click on the empty press shift and hold down right click on the cube press control down and hold it and then press P once that brings up our set parent to menu up and now all we need to do is hit enter you could have left clicked there and now the empty is parented to the cube it'll move wherever the cube does and consequently the camera will follow the cube that's it on how to track a camera to an object hope you enjoyed it